What's up everybody? Do you want to learn how to never be pickpocketed and have a really cool wallet to boot? If so, then you've come to the right place. What's up everybody? How's it going? I hope you're doing well. In fact, come to think of it, I hope you're doing real well. Today I'm going to talk about the best travel wallets or how not to be pickpocketed while out and about. Now this primo tip comes from me, a guy who's never been pickpocketed while traveling, never had anything stolen for that matter. I guess you could call me lucky, but I'd like to think that I create my own luck. I mean, sure, I do lower my chances of being pickpocketed by doing the usual stuff everyone recommends. For example, I don't flash expensive gear in public while I'm traveling, I stay highly alert in public marketplaces, and I stay suspicious of strangers because I know that pickpockets can work in teams sometimes. They'll do stuff like have someone pose as a tourist, ask for you to take their picture in front of some monument, and then while you're taking the picture with their camera, someone else is going to steal something from you. I don't exactly know the details, because I never actually had anything stolen from me, but I've seen some YouTube videos about it, okay? I get all that info, and I think you get it too, but the problem is when you're traveling, you can't really stay highly alert 24-7, non-freaking stop. I mean, sometimes you slip up, you're only human, right? Now this is where people usually suggest that you wear some kind of money belt or other crazy ass contraption, but the problem is, I think those things are a little bit impractical and a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, let's say you're wearing a money belt and you're traveling around, you want to make yourself a purchase. Well, it's kind of hard getting into that thing. It's like breaking into Fort Knox just to make a damn transaction. On top of that, it's kind of uncomfortable. It's like chafing you when you're sweating, you know, if you're in a hot place. It's like chafing and scraping your body like crazy. You don't got time for that. But luckily, I'm here to tell you there's another way, a better way. You see, usually the best solutions are the simplest ones, and right about now, I got a solution so simple, it's gonna make your head spin. First up, you need yourself a Tyvek wallet. What's Tyvek, you ask? It's basically some kind of plasticky material that looks and feels like paper. It's ultra thin, yet it's super strong and durable. For example, this one I have here is made by a company called Paper Wallet. They have tons of different designs made by individual artists. It's got two pockets for cards in the front, it's got a space for bills on the back, and it's made tall enough for international currencies, so it's pretty good for travel. I also used a Tyvek wallet when I was traveling in India for five months by a company named Slimfold. As you can see, this thing's pretty well worn, and it looks like it's made it through World War III, and maybe even a few zombie apocalypses at the same time. Yep, it's not really looking pretty, but that's not the point, is it? The point is, it got the job done. So, once you got the first step over, you got yourself a Tyvek wallet, now it's time to move on to step two. And you better get ready, baby, because this step's gonna happen so fast, you might just miss it. When you're cruising and perusing around a foreign land and you find yourself in a pickpocket-free location, for example, maybe in your hotel or in a restaurant, all you gotta do is take your Tyvek wallet, put it into your pocket as normal. But when you're out and about around town and you feel like you might be in a pickpocket zone, all you gotta do to magically transform yourself into a pickpocket-free mode is to do this. Oh man. Check that out. Did you see it? Because it happened so fast you might have just missed it, so let me do it again. All you gotta do is take your wallet and go like this. Wow. Just wow. Look at that solution. Yep. Basically all I did there was put that Tyvek wallet between my hip bone and my undies. In other words, that wallet's chillaxing in my underwear right now. You know how we do. Now, in all seriousness, I know this may be an eyebrow-raising move for many people. I know it may even be a tad unconventional. Hell, it may not even be the proudest moment of your life when you do it, but let me tell you, baby, it sure beats being pickpocketed. I mean, truth be told, when I carry my wallets like this around dodgy streets, there's pretty much a 0% chance of me being pickpocketed. I think there's a higher chance of someone stealing my dick than there is someone stealing my wallet, and that's saying something. 
Now, like I said, you pretty much need a Tyvek wallet to do this because it's the only type of wallet that's thin enough to actually be comfortable down there. Also, even with a Tyvek wallet, you have to make sure not to load it down with too much stuff. You can't use more than 15 bills, I'd say. Don't use more than 15 dollar bills or currency bills. Don't use more than like one card, like one credit card. Don't have more than like one or two receipts in your actual wallet. Don't be like a George Costanza style wallet. You have to keep this thing lean and mean. Plus this Tyvek material is really strong and durable, but over time, like you saw, it wears down, especially with that other wallet because I did load it with too much stuff in the beginning. And just in general, yeah, if you want to maintain the Tyvek looking pretty good for longer, don't load too much stuff into the wallet. So just keep most of your credit cards and other jazz in your actual hotel room. There's no reason to carry all that with you anyway. I mean, as they say, don't keep all your eggs in one basket, right? And with that, this primo pickpocketing tip has come to a close. So if you want to check out the wallets I mentioned, you can check out some links. I got them down below in the description box. Or if you want to check out my previous episode of Solo Travel Gear about the best travel charger setup, I got that link down below as well. So thanks for watching this video, everybody. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.